Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Only, and today is the day that Prome is ultimate. Yes, he is ultimate. I did it like Monday or Sunday, I think. We're, I'm pretty sure it was Sunday. Um, he's been averaging a lot of score in Nebula. Mostly, I have a guarantee of getting first, depending on if somebody else has another Prome. The only persons I have been beaten inside of Nobla are other players with Prome. My score is actually pretty high. Now, I can actually hit like the three bill in here. Alright, let's see what it'll end off today. Then we're gonna go on our little world boss and move on to other things as in the arena like he does way more damage now and I cannot wait for guild adventure this week because my damage just went up like so much oh he got a lot more today Yeah. Five billion. Sweet. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much the damage I'm dishing out right now. I plan on focusing on Foxy next. And after the Foxy, it will be Helios. Or I can save up for Metis and get Metis to Max. Mm, then I'm gonna have to get another character and I'll have to get her to max. Ah, a lot of things I gotta plan for. I think I'm just gonna be max central right now. Then I'll go back to ultimating something. A lot of process going on there, but you know. Or I might just skip medicine, just wait for. I don't know. I've been saying I was going to skip her, but people have been telling me she's really good for bosses. But at the same time, I'm just like, I know she's good at bosses, but I just don't know if I want her in my team. Because she's more, she just feels more useful for like Encanter team. But I have three Encanters in my team. And two mages. I would basically only use her for like world boss instead of like other things, unless I was to take out Windlu. Then I could use her for Guild Adventure. Now let's see what our score rack up to. This is our first time using Ultimate Prome inside of Golem. So it should be good. Alright, here goes the damage. Alright, so we're definitely going to pass that score. Sweet. Not bad. So I'm definitely going to run the same team I was running last week. Just to see how that does. Yeah, we're definitely making better score. Alright, I'm happy with the progress. We're just out here boosting. Oh yeah, I also might have another series for like Wednesdays and maybe somewhere around the weekend, I don't know. But it really depends on if I actually enjoy the game. Um, it's going to be tomorrow. It's actually probably a game you guys probably know. Well, it's from an anime that you guys will probably know. It's just the game version. I'm not going to spoil it and tell you guys what it is. I'm just going to let it be a surprise and see if it actually, like, something I actually want to play and make a series on. I mean, I enjoyed the anime. I don't think I've actually finished all of it, though. I need to go back and check. And rewatch it if I want to. There's actually a lot of animes we're watching right now as a family. But most of them are interesting. Some of them are 
less than others right now, right off the start. I haven't even watched Deadly Devon Sins yet this week because my mother had to go to work around that time. And just because there was mostly like snow days here and they canceled out like so much crap. People weren't going to work, people weren't going to school. Like there was nobody on the roads. It was, those snow days just pretty much canceled everything out. I'm just sitting here like, it wasn't even that much snow and everybody's just not doing anything. But hey, people like to be careful. I understand, though. Jesus, we are passing our score by a, like a milestone. All right. I want to see the... I'm going to try to check modder team I use for this. But this isn't that bad. also went in for like an interview today for some reason I don't feel nervous talking to different people anymore since I've started doing YouTube YouTube has gave me, given me like so much of a different personality so when I talk to random people it's just not nervous at all or feeling weird just like a casual conversation that I could just hold with any random person I, I don't know it's just changed me a lot because I can say before I was doing YouTube, I really did not like talking to people in IRL. In the game, I can talk to people easily and just have fun. But when it came to IRL, I just really didn't like talking to other people. I was just that quiet guy you would see in the back of the classroom. But hey, personality changing, actually getting comfortable with other people. It's actually weird that YouTube, still online, basically changed me and social IRL. It's odd. I mean, I try to be entertaining, at least. Somehow, our interview changed into talking about PC and editing and YouTube. <laughs> well, most of it... Well, they just asked me what hobby that I have, and I just, like editing videos I didn't say no more than that then somehow we went on the subject of YouTube and PC gaming and other games <laughs> it was actually pretty fun ah I actually enjoyed it I really hope a spot that opens up oh geez we might go into the trillions real soon we really might go into trillions. It's gonna be my first time actually hitting trillions inside of uh, this. this. Well, inside of any world boss now that I think about it. Nice. I think I do need to put um, defense and cooldown on Winloo too. Just to have like the whole team with it. I don't think I have it on her. I think I have like add on some more damage to it, additional damage or something like that on her. Random damage, I think that's what I put on her weapon. All right, Foxy's filling it a little bit. She's kinda getting real hurt. Roman on her hand, he's just been sitting here chilling. I wonder what happened is if you like put, do I have a life steal card on Prome? I don't think I do. If I don't, I wonder what happened if you did put a life steal on him. Does a life steal work on abilities too? Because if that's the case, Prone would never die inside of any kind of type of like boss raid. It's really hope it works for skills. Maybe you guys can tell me that. Because I, I really don't know. Come on, get us to trillions before you guys die, please. We're like so close. Yeah, never mind. I don't think we're gonna get there. Prone kinda lost his uh, partner there. Rip Foxy. Don't worry, Foxy, I'll work on you soon. And that's gonna definitely increase our damage when you get to ultimate. Especially working with Prone. 
Yeah, but he's still dishing out a good amount of damage without her. Like, it's actually pretty nice. Alright, he did. He died. Oh no. Here goes our damage. I was about to say, he's still up for some reason. Alright, I think that's about it. That's all the gas they have in the tank. I would let her carry on, but that's like two minutes of waiting. Let's go ahead and stop that. Wait, was it? I can't remember. In the past, wasn't this like over here? I think that's why I gotten so used to it. Yeah, there we go. The duo is doing so much damage. It's beautiful. I might place Windlu with Ravengill, see how much that buffs her up, maybe? Give that extra boss damage. Alright, let's go wrap this up with some Arena. I've actually been waiting for Arena. Maybe I should put Prom in here, see how he actually does. I would do it. I mean, Fox has been great just because he takes over the enemy and plus she uh, turns them into foxes. Whoops. No, don't want that. Even though I could. You know what? Let's do a no Camille run then. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how we do this time. Pretty sure we should be alright. I'm gonna put it on the auto. Since we're not using my Kamel and waiting on her to pop up. Alright, that was actually a pretty easy team. Sooner or later, we'll get somebody who will get. It's like actually more of a challenge. I think I'm gonna predict it and say Chrome will probably die quickly. Mostly just because. Um, he is kind of weak. It doesn't really have much to stay in. Crap. We're going to turn that off because I want to change Prome and Foxy. Just because Foxy, I want her to like... Turn this off. Because I want her to be out there first and controlling people and turning them. And I want Prome to come in with the damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you. That didn't last too long. Alright. Prom, you first. I mean, Prom isn't good at PvP. I'm just doing this for the lols. So before people start ranting, you just be like, Oh my god, why would you use him in there? Calm your tits, okay? Calm down. This is just for lols. Well, he killed Mika pretty quickly. That I do know. Wait, did we fight that guy already? Pretty sure we did. I think this is probably my favorite arena map. Mostly just because of the two angels in the back. With the thick thighs over the sword. What? He heard nothing. I wonder how many matches we can go through in this video, since we are mowing through this pretty fast. I need to find like the background of this arena though. I haven't really found any, which is odd. So if you guys find any, let me know. Because I kind of want to put this as a thumbnail instead. Because most of my thumbnails have like a Dragon Blaze like background. Just blurred. Alright, we took Kamel out on the start. Great. Still don't get why people put Kamel inside of their team instead of Helper. Odd choice. Oh, I guess it's because they're probably doing adventure. That could be a reason.
Yeah, that's another strat. When Mika's on the field, I probably want to wait off my helper just so the helper can come in and isn't affected by her like stop then the helper can actually kill Mika since they're the only two fighting yeah okay strats strats in my head coming in that's also strats for you guys I've been thinking about putting Till back in the group just for Grey Soul and his little insta kills Even though Graysoul isn't as powerful as he is inside of Tag. Inside of Arena, he's meh. But inside of Tag, he's just like, hey, if you don't have a character that's gonna be immune to my instant kill, you're, you pretty much lost this match and you should probably leave. Alright, I want to put in Till, see how that goes. Let's take out the laws and get a little bit serious. A little bit. Still not too serious. You guys are probably wondering why I'm not putting me back in Kamel. Because I, I kind of want more of a different team today. You know? Helios dies really fast, let's say that. Well, mine at least. Let's go up against this team. Helios would be a lot better choice here too. But you know, we're not going for the meta today. <laughs> and boom. And plus my shield on my tilt is way stronger right now. And plus, the cooldown on Till is, isn't half like bad either. That's another reason why I like her. I don't think the whole Till and Helios like strat is gonna work out real well. Not as well as Asker and Helios Key. <laughs> nah, those combos were really nice. Too bad they don't exist anymore. Well, you probably could make it as this. Because I'm pretty sure there's probably still some Askers going around here. I just don't really see them all that often. Asker, the number one stunner in freaking Guild Adventure. Like, he stunned the hell out of that, <laughs> out of that boss to the point where your whole team would not die at all. You would literally just have a mortal team the whole way. But not anymore. I wonder if the... Well, Till... Her stun rate is kind of... Meh. When it comes to, like, Guild Adventure. Not as good as Ascaris. That I can say. Uh, but I could be wrong. And plus, Asker was pretty much, like, helpful for the whole team. Till is pretty much just dedicated to Magic Team. So there's like some huge differences between Asker and Till. Which I wish weren't there. I wish Till was dedicated to everyone, just like Asker was, but for a Magic Team, she's still pretty strong. Ah, that's who I should replace Wenlu with Till. Duh. To try that later. I think we'll do like three more, then we'll wrap it up. Oh, look at that. You thought your whole team was gonna come back, but no. Not today. Alright, so far this team's like working out really well. Better than I expected it to. But this could be the finisher here. Yep, Foxy's out. Too much damage. Oh, but the Gala got down real quick. Jeez. They must have focused everything on her. I think the main reason why people carry so many canters is just because they soak up damage. 
Soak up damage that can be avoided on your main team is pretty much what I'm saying. Alright, let's do... You know what? Let's do two more. Why not? <laughs> this is going by pretty fast. So one more after this. Oh, no. That Foxy must have killed everyone. That's what I'm thinking. Foxy must have definitely killed everyone. I don't know. What? What? Oh, Foxy must have made somebody kill some others. So that damage didn't count towards, the, towards her. Because they're, they only killed four. So one of my characters killed one of them. Okay. That's probably what happened. Whoops. Hey, 12. A perfect 12. Alright. Last one. I know we went like an extra one. <laughs> the team is just a little bit interesting to me right now. Not better than, um... Kamel, though. But still somewhat fun. Maybe we should start trying out random teams for Arena. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm going to be stopping in here, guys. Hope you all enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, my Dragon Blade videos are Tuesdays and Fridays. Till then, peace out. Meanwhile, on the horror channel, it just makes me curious now. I saw that, you little shit. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs>